uh, Wayne Brown, uh, the company that I founded is Brown Builders, and it's in its 53rd year. Brown Builders was formed in 1971, and he led it for 40 years and, and made it grow into one of the largest general construction firms in this part of the state. We're a um, family business, not only by blood, but also a family company and that our employees are family. Uh, there's not a portion of our community that hasn't been touched by brown builders, whether it's through churches that are being they've built, or schools, or apartment complexes, or Noel Library, or Brown Paving putting in the four lanes of Pines Road in uh, West Shreveport. From a business standpoint, uh, Wayne always looks for an outcome where everybody has the same uh, mutual benefit and mutual success, which I've always respected. I, I knew the value of continuing uh, the family business so that my uh, children would have the opportunity to be part of that business if they so chose. We're blessed with our four daughters, grown daughters, they're all involved in our business ventures in, in one way or another. Um, my dad's always been very involved in economic development of the area working with the Shreveport and Bossier Chambers with the economic development groups from both of those organizations. His recent work on the um, LSU Board of Supervisors. He is the chair of the Committee of 100 for Economic Development from the state of Louisiana. And that has business people from all over the state as members. And he's the chair of that. It's a big, big job. It shows how much faith the other members of that uh, large organization having him. One thing that I admire the most about Wayne is that through his life he's promoting people to get involved in the community, to become community leaders. And uh, that's what he did in my life. He's still doing it today. Uh, he is very knowledgeable and passionate about LSU and about Shreveport. And every meeting that we've ever had uh, that I can recall, he always asked, um, questions about how it would impact Shreveport or how we could benefit Shreveport. He is so family oriented. It is it is um, an amazing thing to watch. It's a heartwarming thing to watch. Visit to Africa where he took his whole family. And I'm not talking about just his daughters. I'm talking about all of the family, the grandkids, the whole nine yards, um, which was quite a, a, a making memory experience for everyone involved. But he has a degree in engineering from LSU. And he attributes a lot of his professional success to that education. And he is very passionate about other people getting that top quality education at LSU too. Louisiana Key Academy and um, the Highland Center, the um, Arc of Caddo Bossier Child Development Center have been recent projects, but everything he does, he does with his full heart. You can tell he's got a great deal of empathy for others. And that, to me, makes a big difference in terms of, okay, he's a successful businessman, but listen, he knows that there are other people out there who don't have the talents he has, the resources he has, and he tries to help them as much as possible. 2019, when we played, won the national championship in football, and our first road game was at the University of Texas in Austin. And as the game progressed, every time we would score a touchdown, Wayne would jump up. And it was 100, over 100 degrees. Would jump up and run up and down the steps, giving me and everyone else high fives. And I, was, I thought I was going to pass out. I was absolutely concerned that if we scored too many more points, that it might negatively impact Wayne's health. Well, certainly number one is my wife, Ellen. Uh, we've been married for 55 years, and she's my partner in everything that we do. I'm blessed with a, a wonderful family, uh, and that's really what uh, helps keep me uh, uh, doing what I'm doing. Uh, congratulations, Wayne, for being such an outstanding leader, for caring about Louisiana, for having the passion for Louisiana that you do, the passion for your family, and for the work that you do, whether it's volunteer work with groups like the Committee of 100, the LSU Board of Supervisors, or any of the other things that you have done and will be doing, you are a consummate business and civic-minded leader. Thank you for that leadership. It's well-deserving to be 
the Business Leader of the Year. And I congratulate Wayne on his accomplishments and also him being recognized by the Greater Shreveport Chamber of Commerce. I'm honored to have been selected to speak on Wayne's behalf. It's been an honor to be his business partner and, and friend and associate for the past 15 years. And you know, we're looking forward to many more. Um, I love Wayne Brown. And uh, he and his family are very important to me. I think I want to be Wayne Brown when I grow up. I'm very uh, humbled and thankful I've had the opportunity to have a relationship with him. Congratulations, Wayne, on a well-deserved business, business Leader of the Year Award. So I'm very proud to be his daughter and I'm very proud that he honored me with the mantle of carrying on his life work. Dad, I'm so excited for you and to look forward to all of the great things that you have to come.